In today's video, we're going to be feeding all of my predators, and on the menu is tilapia. Each of these animals has its own way of taking down a meal. Watching the different hunting styles side by side really shows just how diverse these predators are, even when they're all going after the same food. Tilapia is a lean protein that will provide our predators with the necessary nutrients and energy to grow. We just have to thaw it out because right now it's as hard as a rock. Using some of the bass's water, I was able to defrost the tilapia. After some time, our tilapia was finally ready to be cut up. All right, we got a nice little knife here to take off the cover. All right, let's chop this up. All right, let's open up the top here. This guy is literally ready. Oh, there you go. Let's see if we can get him to jump a little bit. Oh, we almost went for it. Oh my god. Jesus. This guy is a monster, guys. It's probably our most vicious animal. Honestly, you guys can let me know down below who you think is the most vicious because all three guys we're feeding today are pretty crazy. You ready for more, buddy? You ready for more? You ready for more? All right, guys, we've got two pieces here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw one on the left side and the right side at the same time and get a view nice here in the front and see which one he goes after. Three, two, one. Oh, man, he's just so quick with it. You can't trick him. All right, feeding him too is pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these long pieces. I'm just gonna get a bunch of small pieces and throw in a bunch at the same time. See how quickly you can just devour these as we throw them in. Stack these up in a little pile here. Nice, look at that. A lot of protein for our guy here. All right guys, we got the pack, let's throw them in. This guy's just getting them quick. Oh, he let a couple fall. I don't think he realized that the other ones fell. He just waits for the ones at the top and he doesn't really look for any of the pieces that fall to the bottom. He likes eating at the top of the water. There's literally one right there on top of the plant and he hasn't even noticed it. I think I'm gonna try to get that, but if I put my hand in there, he's gonna try to attack me. Nope, nope, okay. He's not gonna let me get that. All right, guys, he's trying to go after these tongs. Grab these pieces up. Got two more at the bottom that we need to get. Guys, look at our play go. He's literally upside down right now on the driftwood. By the way, I don't think we've named him, and I don't think I asked you guys to do that in the first video. So if you guys have a name for him, just drop it down in the comments. Let's see if we can get him to the top here. Come on. All right, I'm just gonna drop it and see if he gets it. Smoke. Let's drop in two more. Come on, you see it? Come on. Yes, he got it. Good job. Looks like Billy's trying to break down those pieces that we've been giving him. Slowly but surely, his belly is starting to fill up. All right, just keep your eyes on him. I'm gonna drop a big piece from the top and see if he comes and gets him. All right, dropped it in. Boom, it's going down to his little spot behind the plant there. Now he's just munching on that big piece I just gave him. Slowly but surely, he's getting fuller, but he's looking a lot bigger by the day. Usually largemouth bass have that stripe going along the side of their body. Sometimes he has it, sometimes it goes away. I don't know why it disappears sometimes, but just really active with my hand today. But he doesn't want to eat at the top of the water. All right, now for the next predator in the lab, Dino. And he's already ready at the front of the tank. Swimming around, he knows that it's feeding time. All right, guys, we just got a little appetizer for Dino. Get his appetite going. Let's lower it down. Oh, oh, he's locked in already. Look at this. Whoa, he missed. Come on, you got it. Whoa, got it. Now he's just trying to get out of the tank. He knows it's feeding time. It's going crazy. Look how long he stretches out. Look at that reach that he has. And he just doesn't even like try to break it with his claws or anything. He's just swallowing it. I'm gonna feed him now with my hand. Actually, I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna drop this piece in and see if he can find it. I'm holding the piece up high and he's ready. I'm gonna drop it in and see if he can catch it. Oh, hit him right in the head. Sorry, buddy. And it just went past him. Oh, he, he got it, locked in. He sees it, he smells it. Boom. If that was a live fish, that was a goner. And instantly, he's just ready for more. We're trying to create a dinosaur, and this is the perfect thing to feed dino. Pure protein, tilapia. And I think he loves it, but honestly, he just eats everything I give him, so I don't even know what his favorite food is. But he's going crazy right now. Looks like he really enjoys this. Come on. Oh, Jesus. That was a bigger piece. Eh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it was a bigger piece, but he just instantly swallowed it. Soon he's just gonna eat the whole filet on his own. I don't even have to cut it up for him. All right, now we're gonna get like a top-down feeding shot. See how that looks. All right, guys, here we go. See if we can get him to eat from the top here. 
Look at him just fly over. Oh, he got it. Let go. There you go. He doesn't even enjoy it. He's just holding it and then swallows it. <laughs> this guy is a beast. I'm going to quickly drop this one in here. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, Dino. Under him. <laughs> he doesn't even realize it. I'm going to smell it now. Oh, you noticed it. Boom. Especially with his tilapia pieces, he never stops eating. He's just locked in the whole time. I, I feed Billy, I feed the crab, you know, they get full. They don't want to eat anymore. This guy, like, I gotta stop him. Come on. Oh, heard it. He saw it. It's locked in. Yeah. I might have to start giving him bigger pieces, but honestly, he looks like he's handling those pretty well, so probably easier for him to digest too. Was it just me or it looked like he was like smelling that piece of fish? That was funny. Whoa, Jesus. Yeah, when I'm more active with the tongs, he definitely turns into a predator. All right, now it's time for Shovel's turn. I wonder if you can see this. They have pretty good eyesight even behind them. But looks like he's chilling right now. When he sees my hand, he's sometimes afraid, but he's going crazy right now. Oh, all right, let me drop that in. I don't want to lose a finger to him. Oh, he's got it. Oh, wow, he's ripping into it. You can just tell. He's going under his little spot here. He's using those new claws. Oh, you can hear that. Wow, I mean, he's acting like he hasn't eaten in days. I literally fed him this morning. He's got him really good with his claws. He hasn't had them for too long. You know, he obviously was missing them, but they're part of him now and he's used to it. This one here on the left is significantly bigger kind of uses it more to hold and grip while the other one is just kind of like guide to his mandibles in his mouth but he's definitely maybe the freakiest one to to watch eat maybe he's not the most powerful but it's definitely the most interesting but it seems that shovel here is enjoying tilapia right now it's actually the first time i feed him one of the fillets i fed him a fish that i caught that was a tilapia and he enjoyed it but this is the first time that you know he gets that perfect fillet that we buy frozen for him he looks so funny holding that big piece, doesn't want to let it go. <laughs> He's probably like afraid that I'm going to like take it from him or something. How he eats is actually very different than how the bass and dino eat. Because they kind of just like swallow their food whole. This guy has to like break it into small pieces to consume it. Oh, he's attacking us, he wants some privacy. Don't worry buddy, we didn't take it from you, it's still there. Right before he grabs the piece, he like threatens us really quick. I think he wants some privacy. All right, I'm gonna see what happens if I grab that piece. All right, guys, the leftover piece from Shovel. So we're gonna see if Billy's still hungry. Looks like he is. Come on, Billy. You toss it in, see who goes after it. No food goes to waste here at the lab. Look at him chomp it down, breaking it down, swallow it. This guy's gonna be one pound in no time, especially with all this fish that he's eating. Oh, why'd you attack him, bro? Probably being territorial right now. Relax, man, there's food for everyone. Guys, we still have a lot of food left, and I know just the guys that are hungry. We just need to chop it up into small pieces. All right, guys, we got a bunch of small pieces. And a bunch of hungry fish. Drop it in. We're coming out. These little guys are pretty gross. They're just like little piranhas. They're so cute. They've gotten a lot bigger since we bought them. They're being a little shy today, which is actually quite surprising. Now they're getting a little territorial and aggressive towards each other, which is pretty normal for sickles, actually. Oh, it looks like they're fighting over the fish right now. That wraps up today's feeding. It was awesome watching how each predator tackled the same meal in its own way. If you enjoyed seeing these predators in action, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next feeding. And leave a comment down below telling me what you guys want to see them eat next.